Uh, yeah, we've, we've come a long way. We've gotten over a lot of problems. But the fact remains that there is a widespread, deep feeling of powerlessness in the country. One sees it on every side with respect to many issues, not just the budget issues. The people do not feel that their wishes are observed. They're heard, but they're not observed, uh, particularly at the federal level. The basic problem is simply that the Congress has become professionalized. It has an interest much higher than ever existed before in remaining in office. Uh, it has a bureaucracy that is serving it. It is much more subject to the uh, uh, power of individualized pressure groups uh, as opposed to the, the unorganized uh, feelings of, of the majority of the citizens. All of these reasons have created this, uh, this feeling which is real and which I think has a proper basis of powerlessness. Uh, one remedy for that, the one specifically provided in the Constitution, is this amendment process which bypasses the Congress. I would like to see that amendment process used. Just having it used once will exert an enormous uh, influence upon both the Congress and the Supreme Court, I think. That the Congress is simply unwilling to give attention to many issues which it knows the people are concerned with and uh, which issues involve restrictions upon the federal government's own power. I think the founders foresaw that and they provided this method in order to enable a convention to remedy that. The alternative is, con is continuing with a system that provides no means of obtaining a, a constitutional amendment except uh, through the uh, kindness of the Congress, which has uh, demonstrated that it does not want to have uh, any other way to get a constitutional amendment. The Congress knows that the people want more fiscal responsibility, but it is unable to provide it. I've talked about the, the need for a convention uh, because somehow the, uh, the federal legislature has gotten out of our control and there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, one can say the same thing about the, uh, the federal judiciary. Um, and and that's, that's one reason I'm willing to take the chance, in order to have a convention, take the chance of some doubts that now exist. I'm not sure how much longer we have. I am not sure how, how long a, a, a people can, can accommodate itself to, uh, to directives from a, uh, a legislature that it feels is no longer responsive and to directives from a, a life-tenured judiciary that was never meant to be responsive uh, without ultimately losing its, uh, its, uh, its sense of, of, of control of its own destiny. We, we are all sitting breathless waiting for the Supreme Court to tell us what our fundamental beliefs are with respect to this particular issue without having a hope of getting anything done about it if the Supreme Court should, should find that our fundamental beliefs are in fact different from what our fundamental beliefs are. We have no recourse. There's, there's, there's not a whit of a chance that the Congress will, will overturn any decision that the Supreme Court comes down with in the Weber case. And unless this, this uh, alternative method of amending the Constitution is adopted, we will continue to live under that kind of what I consider uh, inanely non-democratic system. It, it, it is just foolish to, to sit uh, wringing one's hands, wondering what the Supreme Court is going to tell us our fundamental uh, uh, Constitution requires. If the only way to uh, remove us from utter bondage to the Congress is to... Uh, is to take what I think uh, to be a minimal, a minimal risk on, on this uh, uh, limited convention, then let's take it.